Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 17. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so we are here at Cape Ring for a really long race now. 21.9 miles. So this is going to be... Well, this is going to be huge. Right, let's go. Oh, we went very sharp to try to get past that car there. There we go, nice. Right, we're coming up to the inside section now. Awesome. That is a tricky line to take through those corners there. Here we go, nice. Slowing down again. Perfect. Jump time. Woo! I remember this course very well. And going around the spiral section now. Time there. Two minutes thirty. Not even two minutes late. Two minutes forty for a lap. We've got five of these to do. Well, looks like endurance is going to be a factor for this race then. We're going to have to keep our concentration as long as possible. Going around those corners though is a nightmare. Perfect. Oh, that was a really good corner there. And then that bit at the end just ruined it. Perfect, shifted down to the first gear. I forgot to break. We've gone very wide through there. Right, for this one, I want to see if I can actually keep it on the track here. And jump. There we go, that was much better there. The 
fact is, there's no car in this game, except I think of Red Bull, that can take this corner and be able to maintain it more than uh, 110 miles an hour. That was pretty cool. And across the line, two minutes 36 for that lap. The cool thing I like about this car though is the gears are really long. So if you look at 73 miles an hour for the first gear, and then for second gear, well, I can take most of these corners in second and not have to shift. A hundred and thirteen. And you think that's how long these gears are? Focus through this these sections though. And that car at the back of the pack again. Miles behind. Oh, we've hit the wall. Whoa. Nearly lost there. Perfect. On to the final straight for, well, the third time. We are now on to lap number four. We've still got two more laps to do. Got one very wide through there. off the accelerator through here. Just fancy throttle management. Awesome. Gran Turismo. I'm absolutely loving playing Gran Turismo at the moment. It's just my favourite game out of all of the racing games. There isn't a game that I, like Forza, doesn't compare to the amount of fun that I've been having with Gran Turismo. It does not compare. Nice. 
where is this corner where the jump is? I think this is it. I think that's the best we've taken that corner so far. On to the final lap now. that is stuck at the back is still on lap number four and we're already a minute and a half into lap number five. The cars are spread all over the track now. Right, this is going to be the best jump yet. Well, there you go. Sort of getting used to as well the, um, the sort of load sensors in the X button that allows you to do like throttle management with a button. It's weird because obviously the PlayStation 3 buttons are all analog, they're not all like solid buttons. But there we go, that is us across the line. Finish the race. 13 minutes that took. Wow. That is impressive how long that took. I think it's now time to go on to the next race, which should be the final race in the series, unless I shift the episodes around. I don't know yet. Right, we are now on the Grand Valley Speedway. Let's do this race. Or GT time. And go. Perfect first corner there. Hitting third through these sections. I feel like shifting down to second will be pointless. Nice. Key, let's go. And across the bridge. Nice. Now we've got two times. 
tight S bend coming up. Perfect. Right, coming on to a lap number two. Let's go. Oh, forgot to shift up. This track is very good because it's got a lot of hairpin corners, so only cars with good grip can actually get around them. This car doesn't have great grip for corners, so you do have to slow it down, but that also adds a little bit of challenge as well. Obviously, the aim of this walkthrough, I think, is not to finish every single challenge, I think my main goal is to get the Red Bull uh, X2010. That is my goal. Right, let's see if we can hit 200 miles an hour. Not quite. So through this first one, we can take the speed, but in this, uh, the first corner, we stay in third, second one we go into second gear and then on the exit we shift up to third this is sort of what I like about Gran Turismo though you learn these processes um, obviously these races you don't get that chance to that much like this race you can end up getting a fast lap on your last lap but it's the endurance races where it really kicks in because you can learn and practice and while you're doing the race, which is awesome. And out of the tunnel. Perfect. That corner was taken very nicely there. Managed to shave off eight seconds off of that lap time. reason that corner still says we should be in second gear which is not right perfect so I think the parts that we need to nail are the two S bends Perfect. 
nice. Right, shifting down into second. Ooh, very wide there. Perfect. Second. Forgot to shift down there. Perfect. Oh. I have a feeling we're going to struggle to make up uh, a faster time for this lap. Oh. Yeah, gears are a thing in this game. It's this S bend that we can never get right. And to be fair, that's the best we've taken that S bend. That was a very good time there. Do, do. We got 138,000 in total pretty much from that. Uh, I'm going to save that replay as well because that was a very good uh, race. And then, trophy time. Right, how much money do we get for the trophy? 92,000. Okay. Nice. This is where the big bucks start coming in. Because that entire championship just got us around about... We? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. No way. I just got the Bugatti Veyron. That is like my dream car. That is... Yes, it's not in a colour scheme that I like, but... Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. That sounds amazing. I don't like it. <laughs> what have I done? I ruined it. I don't like it. Me no like it. Right, so for the next championship, we're going to take the Bugatti Veyron. I can't believe I'm saying that. That is awesome. Um, and one thing I will definitely need to do is do some weight reduction because this thing weighs a ton. Uh, literally. Um, so doing two weight reduction uh, upgrades is actually going to take off nearly 300 kilos. I could go again, but I feel like I don't want to. Um, so let's go to the engine, see if we can get... <gasps> no way, we can actually do upgrades on the engine. This part cannot be fit. Okay, fair enough. So we can do the engine ECU, which is alright. We can do an air filter. Uh, I have a feeling, though, the sports intake manifold. Oh! We can actually put one of those on. Every little helps. Let's put it on. Uh, there isn't actually any um, 
body upgrades because this car is technically classed as standard, so it's almost like a rip from older uh, Gran Turismo's, um, just in hands. Um, so yeah, there isn't any point in actually. How much would that give? It is a titanium though. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's just max this out because why not? Uh, turbo kits. Obviously, there is a turbo in this car, but I'm guessing. Yeah, we can't fit any turbo kits or superchargers. I mean, the Bugatti already has um, four turbo chargers, anyways. It's got a quad turbo kit. So. I'm pretty sure no kit you put on is going to beat that. Um, I feel like suspension's fine. One thing we will need, though. Um, what does this car have at the moment? This car has sports hard, so we're going to need racing softs. Definitely. Which is a huge cost. But it's worth it. Um... Right, so we are going to be going on to the first uh, race of, uh, not the professional, the next one up, uh, which is, if we have a look, is the Expert Series. So we're going to be doing the first race of that, which is quite uh, suitable for this car, the Tuning Car Gra Grand Prix. So we've got five races to do, which will probably sp spread us from the remainder of this episode to the next episode. Uh, but let's go and do this. We got you on. Do us proud. Right, so we are here at the Suzuka circuit. We're doing 18.04 miles, but we are in a Bugatti Veyron, so we should have no problem with this just fucking car. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm driving the Bugatti Veyron. This is exciting. All right, calm down. I do absolutely love this car though, it is my favourite car, so to be able to unlock it. It is a standard car though, which is a little bit disappointing, but at least it's in the game. I'm not going to complain because uh, Polly Funny might be uh, watching this and they might uh, send out a false patch that removes it, I hope not. So, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> it is a beautiful car, though. And those racing softs are doing a really good job. And obviously, it's got the, um... Yeah, it's got no mapped interior, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, let's go for this. This view is the best and easiest to drive anyways. It looks like a massive truck. But obviously, we all know it's not. It's a 1,100 horsepower Bugatti Veyron. That turbo! Oh. <laughs> that is what the car makes though. Because it's got so much turbo power. I didn't have to spend a penny on this car. It was free. My reaction though when I saw that, it was like, oh, there's a Bugatti Veyron. I get very excited over this car. This and the Nissan Skyline. 
The skyline is a reasonable excitement, but a Bugatti Veyron is just like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Because as well, getting this car is like a childhood dream, like in this game. Which is weird saying that, but it will make sense, hit me out. So, I obviously, when I was playing the PSP version of this game, obviously you had Gran Turismo PSP, and the Bugatti Veyron was in it. But the thing is, it comes on the second, on day three. It appears on day three and four of the dealership. So you're like, oh, there's Bugatti Veyron. But there's no way you would have earned two million credits in that time. I mean, there is a way, but like, you couldn't just straight up get that unless you knew the car was there. So what I did, I grinded the game out. Um, I grinded one of the races, which was drift, uh, drift type, um, and so you would go drifting, you would earn points, and in one point in drift mode equals two credits. So I had to get a million drift points just to be able to afford. Oh, I've gone off the track. You had to get a million credits just to be able to afford. And I spent hours just playing it, trying to get that million points. And I got it, and it was exciting. But I couldn't work out how to get the Bugatti on this game, and I just couldn't be bothered to go through GC mode. And to finally have the Bugatti on this game is just awesome. And that instant gear change as well. Because the Bugatti in real life can actually do instant gear changes. This isn't just Gran Turismo being unrealistic. Like, this is realistic at this point. Go, go, go. Oh, the tyres are flaming. <laughs> the car is too much for even the soft tyres. I have a feeling maybe racing soft was a bad idea. We should have gone for racing hard. Or maybe we're just pushing them way too hard. That could also be an option. I haven't actually hit 200 miles an hour yet, I don't think. But uh, the next track, I think, is Daytona, so that should be really good. Nice. Oh. Bring it down a gear, perfect. Really pumping out the racing game content at the moment. 
This was a terrible lap. I'm not even excusing myself for how bad that was. That was just terrible. That was worse than even my first lap. And my first lap, you have to accelerate the car up to speed as well. Which is an extra task. damage, fuel and tyre depletion, it would, um, well, they'd be gone by now. They would have burst. Racing softs are definitely way too soft. a lot of power to wrestle though this car. To try and get this round corner is insane. Oh. But you can't even go full out either on the corner, on the exit. Because the car just has so much speed it will throw you off. PSP. The PSP version has that glitch on the wing where the um, stalks will stick through the uh, bit of bodywork for the wing. It's still got that glitch. Uh, it is literally a copy and paste from the PSP version. That is awesome that they did that. Wow. Right on to the next race then. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.